Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 4th through January 10th. We're just going to see what comes up for you. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Sagittarius for the week ahead? And what do we have for Sagittarius for the week ahead? Hermit is the overall energy, time of introspection. You may be realizing something uh, through your period of isolation. It looks like you're, you are maybe coming out of a period of isolation, though. You know, you're, you're, you're coming out. You're coming out of hiding by the looks of things. I do believe there is somebody watching you. I think there is somebody watching you. I feel like you have gained a lot of wisdom. I think that you um, are very knowledgeable. You've learned something. You've learned something. And I think that somebody knows that you have learned something. And they probably know that you are getting ready to do something. I feel like you've come up with some plan. You've realized your goals. You've become wiser. Um, I do feel like you have somebody that doesn't support you, that is watching you. I just got to say, okay. I see, I see a very wise individual here who has been enlightened. So I think that you've gained some sort of enlightenment. Um, if this isn't you, you could be dealing with somebody. This is, a, this is an old soul. Okay. Maybe that's you. Maybe that's your, yourself. Maybe you have become, um, wiser or you are a wise one somebody may be looking at you for your wisdom um there's somebody watching you just so you know Take a look at that. Unbelievable. So there could be a cover-up. Okay, there could be a cover-up here. So just, I don't know how that resonates with you, but there could be a cover-up. I mean, you just saw how that happened. Somebody could be trying to, to uh, shut you up even. Hills, obstacles to overcome, kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. And that is, that is what the hermit does. The, her, the hermit does go into a period of isolation to plan, okay? So you may need to make some plans. You may be making plans this week because there is some obstacles to overcome. So I think that's what is that, exactly what is going on. There's somebody around you that doesn't like you. Put it that way. You do need to go within and plan. You need to go within and plan because there's some obstacles that are coming. You may have a spy here. <laughs> there could be somebody that is spying on you. The fool. Now you have a new beginning. You definitely do. You have a new beginning. You're being called to take a risk. You know, you are. It feels like you have been in isolation. You're coming out of isolation. You're no longer restricting yourself. You're starting to show show up. You know, you're you're no longer gonna you know hide behind the scenes. I think there's somebody that doesn't want you to make whatever move it is that you're moving forward with, that you're doing. You've come up with this plan, you're moving forward. You got some here, but here doesn't like it. But anyhow, we got this fool, which is a brand new beginning. You are you are going down a new path. You're probably going to be stepping into new territory. You're going to be doing something you've never done before. This is the beginning of a new journey. It starts, you might be taking a journey. You may be traveling. This is a brand new beginning right here. Need to have faith. 
And I think that you are aware of the risks. I think you're aware of the risks, but you got to do it, whatever it is. You could be dealing with somebody in, in the law, okay? You could be dealing with somebody that uh, has no feelings, that doesn't care, that is very cold and abusive. You may need to uh, use your heart in this matter. You need to use your heart. You're dealing with somebody that is abusive, that's for sure. Knight of Swords. It's uh, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius by the looks of things. Could be an Aries, could be a Virgo, but you have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Somebody that is cold, abusive, hard, and uncaring. This person, um, what is this person doing? What is this person doing? Four of Pentacles. Maybe, you know, the Four of Pentacles reverse is giving something away. There could be some financial instability here. This is uh, not holding on. Doesn't care. Angry. You could be dealing with a miser, somebody that is, is miserable, mean, mean-spirited. I feel as though you are, you have, you know, the, the night, this night of swords happens to be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. Things change really fast. You may be tied to a situation and somebody is coming to the rescue. They're coming to help you. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of teamwork with whoever you've been working with. You're probably feeling stuck. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that lacks respect for you. And you have, you, you see it very clearly. You see something very, very, very clearly. I feel like you're going in a new direction this week. I feel like you're going to be taking a risk. You're going to be taking a risk. This, this risk is best for you. I think you've thought about it. You've thought about it a lot. It's almost like you're, you're acting out the plan. You're putting the plan in action this week. You've come up with a plan, and now you're putting the plan in action. After perhaps not putting in much effort, not really doing anything about it, I feel like this is a week that something actually changes. Because you've, you've come up with that plan, right? You have to replace that fear with faith. You do, and take a risk. The obstacle probably is lack of uh, teamwork from others. You know, that's one of the obstacles. People may not be supporting you. You may not have support. You know, you're, you're, you're going down a new path. And I feel like there's, there's people that are against you or they're jealous of you. You're definitely going to need to plan ahead. So whatever it is that you've been strategizing about, it feels like you've been coming up with some sort of strategy. You really make sure that you, you uh, perfect it this week. I think things are going to happen really, really fast. I feel like, I feel like you've been making plans, right? You have, and things are going to change. Um, the world reversed. So the world reversed is unfinished business, lack of closure, lack of success. This is a setback. Somebody is, is, is clinging to their present environment. They're not focusing on the future. Flogging a dead horse. You, you need to find your courage, okay? You're being, you're being, it's almost like you're being told. And maybe you're, you may even be getting some advice from somebody who is very wise. You may get some wise advice from an individual that says, you know... It's time to leave this behind because the fool leaves everything behind, takes nothing with them on their new journey. So I think that you are embarking on a new journey this week, but you're going to need to uh, not, and I hate to say this, not care what anybody else thinks. You have to take care of you. Listen to yourself and listen to yourself only. Okay? Don't let your feelings get in the way. I feel like you, there, there could, you know... 
there's something that you probably need to let go of. It's an old chapter. It's an old phase. It's an old life that you've been hanging on to, right? You need to, you, you, this is hanging on and this is the, the end of a phase, but you, it's your, this is like flogging that dead horse. It's over. Get out of your feelings. Okay. You, it doesn't, you matter. This is about listening to yourself and this is starting a new journey, starting from scratch. Listen to yourself and yourself only. And move in the direction, move fast. Go in the direction that you have wanted to go, that you've been thinking about going. Do it. Just do it. So I feel like this week you are putting those plans in action. I do. And I think that you are will be stepping into unknown territory. I think this is exciting. The Fool is very exciting. This is an exciting opportunity you know, to start a new chapter, right? To start a new journey. That's what that is. So you, yeah, you're going to be, you're, you're embarking on a new journey this week. You're starting a new chapter, but, but there's always a but, isn't there? But you will have to not care about the previous stage that you've been holding on to. You're going to have to, maybe you're going to have to be hard. You're going to have to be logical. You're going to have to use your heart instead of your head. What does your heart want? And I say that because of the King of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups on the bottom. You have to follow your gut. You have to follow your intuition. You have to follow your heart. So I feel like this week you will be. I feel like you're going to be getting intuitive messages. I feel like you're going to be guided. This is guided in a new direction. Okay, you're being guided to take this risk and not have any fear. Do not let fear hold you back. Even if you feel like you don't have any support, it doesn't matter. What matters is what you want. What you want matters. So anyway, um, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Magician reversed. <laughs> Magician reversed is manipulation, lies, deception. Next to the Knight of Pentacles reversed, this is somebody that is lazy. They are not qualified or something like that. But this is opening up. This is lack of success. Not putting in any effort. Somebody hasn't been putting in very much effort. They've been not taking any action, not doing anything about their future. They've been staying stuck. This is no long-term plan. Somebody hasn't, you know, set goals. You need to set goals. I feel like you also have somebody around you that is very tricky. Okay, you got somebody here around you that is tricky. They may be uh, abusing your their power. There could be an abuse of power here. This person may want your money. You know, I feel like they may be using you for the, your money or they may want your money. They may want what you have to offer them. So they're like holding you back. They want to hold you back. This is somebody that is very, very manipulative. You know, they, they, they want to hold you back from this new journey that you want to go on. That is your obstacle. Could be a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, there is somebody, there is definitely somebody here that is, that is, uh, they may be manipulating you. They may be uh, abusing you. I feel like there's some sort of abuse here. It could be mental abuse. could be verbal abuse. could be 
um, any kind of abuse with a magician and the king of swords reverse. This is a bully. So I feel like you're going to be dealing with somebody this week that wants to stop you from moving down the path that you have planned to move down. And that is your obstacle. Okay, this is somebody that is very deceptive. They are very cunning, very crafty. And uh, I feel like they're going to cause you some sort of problems. Problems are they going to cause? J lies. They're going to tell some lies. It could be some court, some upcoming court, something to do with court. Um, there could be some upcoming legal issues. Uh, Judgment reversed. A need to move on from that bad choice. There's poor judgment. There's somebody here that is going... There's lies here. Somebody is going to lie. They may lie or do anything to get their way. This is somebody that um, wants the power. They want to keep you down. They want to keep you down. They don't want you taking this new journey. Um... Judgment reverse. That's a poor judgment call. It's a lack of truth. It's telling lies. Tell, Somebody is going to be telling lies. They will not be successful, whoever this person is. You have somebody here that is going, they may, could be slander. They could be saying something about you that isn't true. Okay, they could, whatever they do, it's out of haste. It's out of revenge. Okay, there's like, re, it is, it's out of revenge. This is somebody who acts impulsively that could do something because of, of a loss. With that four of pentacles reverse, they've, they've lost something. Maybe they've lost you. Or I don't know, or they've lost something. They've lost something and they may do something out of, re, out of spite. They will not be successful. They will not. So they will not be successful because this is lack of success from that poor judgment call. This trickster, whoever it is that is manipulative and lying and is abusing their power is not going to be successful. Okay, they're not. Reverse. This person isn't very awakened, whoever you're dealing with. I think you're very awakened. I think that you are, you have a Jesus consciousness because that's what the hermit is, and that's your card. That isn't somebody else. That's you. I think you have a Jesus consciousness, you know, and you, you can see something very, very, very clearly, okay? I think you've become enlightened over a situation. You've come up with some sort of plan. You're moving in that direction. You're leaving something behind. And you got somebody here that isn't very awakened. This person is not enlightened. This person is definitely acting impulsively. They're, they're going to be doing something to... Uh, stop you okay they, that's what this they're going to do something to they're going to do something to try to stop you um this person is not going to be successful they're this is a poor judgment call and they are going to wish that they didn't okay so just 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 let them just let them they're, they're this it's like they're digging their own grave okay this is some that's how i feel I feel like you have support. I feel like there, I feel like uh, you may think that you don't have any support, but you do have support. This week, you need to have faith. You need to believe in the plan that you have come up with. Do not let this abusive individual who is power crazed, that lies, Hold you back from your new life. You know what this is. So anyway, Sagittarius. Um, I think there's going to be a fight. I had the Five of Swords in the bottom of the deck a minute ago. It's not there now, but it was. I think there's going to be a fight. I think there's going to be a battle. I think there's going to be, you know... Um, some sort of serious power struggle between you and another person and somebody's going to have to walk away.
One more card. You're going down a new path, period. It starts this week. Queen of Pentacles, getting some sort of offer, stable, solid, secure. There's somebody here that is very loyal. I feel like there's, this, is, this is help, getting some sort of help from somebody that is probably going. This is freedom. The full card is freedom. So, you're, you know, you're free. You're free. You're going to be getting. Some of you, it could be a job. It could be a raise. It could be an offer. It could be an investment. It's something that you asked for because pentacles are manifestation. Okay, you, you're going to be getting some sort of stable opportunity that leads you down a new path. Could be from a Virgo. Could be Virgo, Aries. Whatever this is, this is going to make you very, very happy. This is an exciting time for you. This could even, this for some of you, could be a business deal. Whatever it is, you have you have an offer coming in that is going to break you free and send you down a new path. But there is somebody that is not happy with the. Uh, offer that you are getting so be prepared to deal with it this week good luck